Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a little mini try on haul. I just purchased a few new releases that I'm really, really excited about and I just wanted to get them on my face. So I don't have like a full face of new makeup to try on for you guys, but I do have some very exciting new releases to be trying on for you today. In this box, we have the new Victoria Beckham matte bronzing bricks. So I purchased shades one and two. Uh, so we'll be giving those a shot. I did also purchase the new Byredo, um I think it's just their tinted lip balm. I'm trying to think if there was like a fancy name for it. I think it's just their tinted lip balm. <laughs> I got one shade in that, so we'll be trying that on. And then from Bobbi Brown, I purchased their, it's like a luxe eyeshadow palette, their Pink Glow Luxe Eyeshadow Palette. And this is the one that has their like baked gelée eyeshadows in there. This has been available, I believe like over in Europe, maybe Canada for a while. It finally was available in the US. So I like ran and ordered that. And this collection also includes like a new highlighter that looked very interesting. So I picked that up as well. So that's what we're gonna be trying on today. I do have like foundation and powder on already since I didn't have anything new for that. Um, everything that I have on my face will be listed down below in the description box if you're interested. So why don't we go ahead and get started with the Victoria Beckham bronzers. So I ordered two of the shades. This box is really heavy. I'm sitting here scratching my head trying to figure out if I ordered anything else. I don't think so. I think this comes in her really heavy kind of packaging. Oh, wow. Okay. I actually ordered the Future Lash Mascara. I completely forgot, but that's right. I did throw this in. Uh, so we have a new mascara to try out this time. Oh, awesome. So I think there's only one shade in here. I think it's black. So we'll play around with that. And yes, here are the, oh yeah, these are really heavy. Here are the two matte bronzing bricks. All right. This one is number one. It is called Dusk and Sunkissed. So all of these bronzing bricks have like two sides to them. So here is the bronzing brick and it is uh, larger than the eyeshadow brick which is why this is so much heavier. It's also thicker too. So there is like a spring release button here and we've got a nicely sized mirror on the inside. Oh, these are refillable. Okay. Okay. So there's a little divot over here next to the pan that allows you to pop this out. Oh, that's really great. I guess that's why this is so much thicker. That is wonderful. So here is number one over here. We have dusk and this is the contour shade Sunkissed. And then let me open up number two and then I'll swatch like all four of the shades next to one another so you guys can compare. So number two is called Soleil and Honey. Ooh, I just love how luxe these feel. And here is Soleil and Honey. All right, and here are swatches of all four shades, two from each palette. So on the left we have Dusk and Sunkissed. So those are the two shades in the number one palette. And then on the right, we have Soleil and Honey, which are the two shades from the number two palette. So the number one palette is obviously lighter than number two, but it's also cooler. And I do feel like the contour shade in number one is actually deeper. Even though it's cooler, I just feel like the tone is deeper than either of the shades in number two. Very interesting. So I almost feel like um, this is light cool and this is light warm, if you will. I really want to use the contour shade in number one, but I want to use the bronzing product in number two. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And just a quick observation on the packaging. Sometimes I feel like I'm clicking it closed and it's obviously it's not closing. It's just springing right back open. So I just have to like really, really sh like close it. <laughs> and then it's closed. So just be sure that you're really securing it tightly. Otherwise, it's just gonna keep popping open. All right, I've got my Chikohoto GSN 2 brush. I'm gonna go into the contour shade here. Or is that what she calls it? Yeah, contour. I wasn't sure if she called it sculpt or contour. And again, this is from the number one palette that I find cooler than number two. I have been waiting for her to come out with a bronzer because I loved her two bronzers that she did when she collabed with Estee Lauder. She had, was it Java Sun and then Saffron Sun? I love, I still have them. I love those bronzers. So I've just been waiting <laughs> for her to come out with these. So, so excited. So definitely there's a matte finish. There's no shimmer to these or anything. Really nice kind of like basic bronzer. And so far, blending out very, very nicely. They have a very, very like soft 
uh, silky, almost like velvety feel to them in the pan. Really, really lovely. All right, so there is the number one contour. I put it on a little heavy just because I want you to see like if it was buildable, um, you get a better, at least I get a better sense of the tone if I like kind of build it up. I feel like it's fairly neutral. It definitely looks cool next to the number two shades, but I would say by itself, it's kind of uh, neutral. Um, and here is the side with nothing. So this is all contour here. All right, so let me finish applying. And as I'm blending this in, uh, it says it is made in USA of US and imported ingredients. There is 0.34 ounces uh, total of product and good for 12 months upon opening. All right, there is the contour shade applied. Very, very nice. I really like the tone, works well on my skin tone. All right, I'm grabbing my Beauty Liciano series number two brush. I'm gonna go into the lighter uh, side over here and just see how deep that looks on my skin tone. And I'm just gonna use this to bronze up my face. So I'm gonna put this on like the higher points. So center of my forehead, kind of down my nose. Over here on my cheeks. Oh yeah, this has a much warmer tone. I feel like I can almost use it as a blush. That's really pretty for like a kiss of sun that gives my skin like that warmth. Very, very pretty. Definitely on the warmer side. I think you can see like the warmth there. Ooh, these are lovely. I'm so happy I picked up one and two. I picked up both because I just wasn't sure which shade I would be, but I love the fact that one is cool and two is warm and I can kind of use both sort of depending on the season, depending on how tan I am, depending on whether I've self tanned. So I'm really excited I grabbed both. If I were to, you know, kind of have to pick one, I would probably go with number two now that it's summertime and maybe in the fall I would pick up number one since it is a little bit cooler, but I really, really like both. All right, so far we've got a winner. Okay, so next, what do we have? Oh, highlight. Um, so I've got the Bobbi Brown Face Highlighter and it's in Pink Glow. And I don't, I think this is a new product. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I could be wrong. Um, it could just be re-promoted with this whole Pink Glow collection, um, but it does come in a really beautiful package here. This tube, it's like this frosty metallic pink. And this is like a liquid highlight. So I do, obviously I have powder down, I have that bronzer down now. Um, so we're gonna basically be testing this out to see if it works well over powder. I'm hoping so. I'm just gonna kind of pump out a little bit. Huh. Ooh, I'm tired, I need a break. Oh, there we go. All right, so there it is. Let me kind of spread that out here. Ooh, this is really pretty. You know, if I had busted this open before I started, I maybe would have put this down before foundation. It just has a really like kind of a light, sheer, just luminescent quality to it. It's not really like a highlight highlight. Oh, it's so pretty though. Well, I'm gonna pump a little bit more out and uh, just tap it onto the high points here. It has a really creamy texture but I can tell from that first pump that it sets down really nicely. Ooh, I really like this. It's not disturbing the powder underneath. I, you know, I'm just tapping. I'm not really swiping or anything. And it really, it kind of sets down. I don't know, I wouldn't say it's like transfer proof or anything, but it sets down really, really nicely where I would say it's transfer resistant. And I love the sheen that it gives. It's not this like super high metallic. It's like um, like a glossiness. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like perfect for the summertime. If you end up picking this up, I would say work one cheek at a time because it does have that set down quality. And I feel like when I was done applying it to this cheek, when I got back to my finger, it was already set down. So I would work one cheek at a time and not pump out too much because you'll probably end up wasting it that way. It really does the job of, you know, highlighting your face, giving you a little bit of like extra dimension on your face, but it's not too crazy. And I like that it's a liquid that kind of sets down. It doesn't stay 
wet or goopy. It's not one of those your hair is going to stick into on your cheeks. You guys know I hate, I hate cheek products that are sticky. Oh, so pretty. Wow. Thank you, Bobbi Brown. That is a lovely offering, part of the Pink Glow collection. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then we'll be back to play with the Bobbi Brown um, Luxe Eyeshadow Quad. All right, here is the Pink Glow Luxe Eyeshadow Palette. And here are, oh, these look so pretty. Here are the four Luxe Eyeshadow shades in here. So I am going to swatch these. I'm gonna start uh, and go from left to right and then move down and left to right. So the first swatch is Opal. Next we have Sunstone, Pink Pearl, and Metal Rose. I love these Luxe eyeshadows from Bobbi Brown. Usually they've been sold as singles and I have quite a few of them and they've had like limited edition ones as part of like collections. I have a couple of those. I was so excited when I saw this palette of them. I was like, oh, it took my breath away and I was just waiting patiently for it to appear in the US and finally it did. So they are all beige jelly shadows, but there are three finishes in here. Let me flash up the swatches again. So opal is a rich luster. Sunstone is a rich sparkle. I think you can see the micro glitters in there. Pink pearl is a rich metal. And then metal rose is a rich luster, just like opal. Okay, I'm gonna start with pink pearl, which is a rich metal finish. I've got my Chicohoto Z5 brush. The shade has a very subtle kind of like duochrome quality to it. I feel like at some angles it looks peachy, some angles it looks a little bit more pink. I really like the like ethereal quality of baked jelly shadows, especially in lighter shades like this, like light soft shades like this. I like wearing them alone. I think they're really, really beautiful. But if you like bolder looks, more opaque looks, this would be a lovely palette of like toppers because baked jelly shadows, they can go on very lightly in a very sheer kind of gauzy way, but you can build them up really beautifully as well. You can also use baked jelly shadows wet, which I just, I just don't normally do just because I find that a little bit fussy. And I really like this kind of like light kind of like sheer ethereal quality to them. But like I said, if you really like a more opaque kind of stronger eye look, these would be great toppers because they just would add a little bit of sparkle to your look. All right, I'm gonna go into Metal Rose, which is on the bottom right hand corner. I've got my Sony G Worker One brush and just gonna add this to the outer corner here. I'm just taking my Z5 brush and blending that all out. Oh, look how pretty those shadows are. Oh, I love this. Now I'm gonna grab some of this uh, opal shade in the upper left-hand corner here and just pop it right in the inner corner here and put just a little bit on the outer brow bone here. Wow. This is incredible. I love this eye look. I love the formula, not disappointed. There was a small worry that these were not gonna be um, as beautiful as like the single ones. These are just as beautiful. These are the same exact formula. Gorgeous. <gasps> so happy with these. Let me go ahead and curl my lashes and we'll be back to try the Victoria Beckham uh, mascara. All right, here is the Victoria Beckham mascara and it says it's called future lash um, i think she only has one mascara um, it is smudge free lifting mascara okay i need all the lifting i can get because my lashes are extremely extremely straight oh wow it's a very kind of petite slender slightly curved wand and it has like a natural style bristle brush there the texture feels very nice. It kind of like, it glides really nicely. So it's not one of those like sticky, clumpy kind of mascaras. A little tack to it, but not too much. And in terms of wetness, it's kind of like right in the middle. It's not too dry, it's not too wet, which is nice. Okay, one coat for really soft look. I'm gonna go in with a second coat. I definitely like wiping the wand down first. Otherwise, I feel like there's just a little too much product, for me, a little too much product on the wand. If you have more than like the four lashes I have, you'll, you'll probably be fine 
with the amount of product. Two coats and the lashes start to get really, really uh, voluminous, which is nice. They almost look fake. So this is two coats, this is one coat. Nice, so far my lashes are like relatively still kind of curled, not as much as when I first curled them, of course, um, but they look relatively curled. They haven't completely flopped down and each lash is very nicely coated. Okay, let me move on to the Byredo Tinted Lip Balm. And it came in this like little bag, isn't that cute? Ah, they sent a couple of samples. We have Lil Fleur and Mixed Emotions. I think they just came out with another limited edition fragrance, Open Sky, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, it sounds beautiful, I'm very tempted by it. Anyway, back to the Tinted lip balm. So they came out with, I think, three shades. I picked up Argila, which from the pictures looked the most kind of brown uh, versus like peach or pink. All right, so the box slides open and the lip balm is sitting inside, inside a little canvas bag. Very similar, if not the same, <laughs> to their lipsticks. Yep, same packaging as their lipsticks. This like slightly curved magnetic tube. Ooh, very pretty. So this is Argila. Let me do a swatch. There it is. It's not very um, glossy looking. It does have like a slight balminess to it. I would say it has a really nice level of tint. It's not quite as sheer as I thought it would be. It's like a lightly tinted lipstick, but a really like pigmented lip balm. Really, oh, I'm so glad I got this color. This is great. Such a beautiful, like light nude shade. And I would say the texture of this balm is kind of right in the middle. It's not one of those like oil and balms where it feels really thin on the lips, but it's not one of those really thick balms that I feel like I almost have to like work it back and forth to warm it up to get it onto my lips. This is nice. It kind of just glided right on. It feels, feels like, um, like an extra moisturizing lipstick, basically. Feels really, really great, and I love this color, love it. All right, so those are all of the new things I've purchased uh, like this past week, and I'm, I'm loving it all. Man, this eyeshadow quad, it is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I had high hopes for it and it really delivered. I was probably out of everything, no, I was excited about everything. <laughs> I was gonna say it's probably the thing that I was most excited for, but I was really excited for the bronzers as well. Oh, I'm so glad I got one and two from Victoria Beckham. Now seeing them in person and, and realizing that one is cool and two is warm and um, that they're not necessarily, like two isn't necessarily that much deeper than one. I just, I love them both. I love them both. And this lip balm, yeah, and the mascara is really great too. All right, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.